um, shareholders and bondholders uh, and 100,000 plus deposit holders, they will uh, share the cost of bailouts, a significant bail-in, according to Dyson Bloom. This is good news, right? Uh, yeah, I think it's definitely a step in the right direction and it is going some way to try and get European Banking Union. I think there's a real concern that this deal doesn't get ratified. It's got to go through the uh, European Parliament by the end of 2013. And actually, I think the big fear is when it comes to a bank uh, in trouble is are the countries going to stick to the rules or are they going to be exceptional circumstances which require a different set of rules for that bank? Well, and there's also some flexibility over how much national governments will put in. Could this be an Achilles heel as well? Yeah, exactly, and I think that's the problem. There's no hard, fast rules because they're trying to accommodate uh, countries with massively different financial positions and banks are completely different. So I think the idea is good. I think when it comes down to a bank failing, there's going to be a lot of squabbling and actually um, countries are going to have to bail in the banks rather than the taxpayers. But the initial reaction seems to be positive and, uh, of course, leaders meet later today. This will, it will put them in a uh, better mood, surely. And it shows that maybe Europe can and is getting to grips with the financial crisis. Um. Well, I think it's, uh, it shows that they can come to a, a, an agreement after a very, very long set of talks. Um, and I don't think Europe, how, uh, the European leaders have got a handle on what's going on in Europe. I think Germany has no interest in solving this crisis because it has an artificially weak currency and they really are pulling the strings. So uh, I think it shows they can make agreement, but it's an agreement that, won't, that a lot of parties know won't actually come into uh, force when it comes down to it. OK, um, but as, as I said there, the, the initial reaction does seem to be positive. And are we going to see that play out in markets later today? Yeah, I think we are going to see positive markets. I think we're taking our lead from, uh, Europe's taking its lead from China and the US uh, very strongly. And I think, the, uh, I think this is a good opportunity to buy into markets at a discounted rate, uh, as we've seen this sell-off. I think the news, I don't think the Fed are going to start tapering until uh, Q1 2014 at the very earliest. So I think this is an opportunity to get involved and get along these uh, stock markets.